the flowing tract. Yes, are you taking the care of your plant? Yes, you have to take the care of your plant. Water the plant. Okay. Then in today's video, we are going to discuss about the reproduction of the parts of the plant with the other part of the plants. Okay. So can you tell me in the video last video we have learned the reproduction with the help of the seeds. What is the reproduction? Actually, the reproduction means what? Giving a means with the help of the part of the plant when we grow a new plant. When we grow a new plant, so that process is called as a new. Uh, that process is called as a reproduction. Okay. Now, in the last video, we have learned how the reproduction takes place with the help of the seeds. How we can grow a new plant with the help of the seeds. In today's video, we are going to discuss that how we can grow a plant with the other part of the plant. So, can you tell me what? Which are the other part of the plant? Yes, root, yes, stem, leaves, flower, yes. So these are the part of the plants which grow, uh, uh, which are the other, which are the other part of the plant, yes. Then with the help of this we can grow a new plant, we can grow a new plant. So we are going to discuss them one by one. So today we will discuss about the how we can grow a new plant with the help of the root. First we will see how we can grow a new plant with the help of the root. Now see there are some, uh, some plants such as carrot, radish, beetroot, sweet potato. Yes. So these are the plants which we can grow with the help of the root. See they, they can these plants, these plants we can found underground, yes or no? In the soil, beetroot if you will see, carrot if you will see, they are under the ground, yes? They are the root, they are the root. If you will plant such a, if you will take that carrot or sweet potato, so see the activity of the sweet potato is given, given in your work. So if you will take the sweet potato, and uh, if you will keep in, uh, if that sweet potato, if you, uh, if you will keep in the water for a uh, two or three days, the new plant, you can see the new plant will grow through it. Yes or no? So it is the thing but the root. So that part will grow into the root. The sweet potato will grow into the root. So like that, there are some plants such as carrot, radish, this. With the help of this, we can grow a new plant. Are you getting this? Now, we can grow the plant with the help of the stem also. Now, we are going to learn the next that we have seen about the root. How we can grow the plant with the help of the root. Now, with the help of the stem. Now, do you know the rose plant? Have you seen the rose plant? Yes. Now, see, if you will cut a stem of a uh, stem of a rose plant and if you will plant it in another pot, then you can you can see you uh, you can find out the sumbles that with the help of the stain we can find a new plant has been grown. Are you getting? So the process now when you are cutting that particular stain and when you are planting, so that process is called as a stain cutting. That process is called as a stain cutting. Now there are some plants such as potato, ginger. Yes, onion. They, we are found, they, uh, where do we found them? They are under the ground. So, are they root or the stem? See, they are the stem. They are not root. They are the stem. We see them as an underground stem. We call them as an underground stem. Are you getting them? So, if you will see the potato, that the covering, that is called as a scar. And in that potato, if you will see, with the help of the microscope uh, or, or the magnifying glass, you can see the some birds. You can see some birds, yellow part. So that is the bird. Or we can say that birds are nothing but we can say they, uh, they are called as an eye of the potato. They are called as an eye of the potato. Now with the help of that, the reproduction will take place and the new plant will grow from that. Are you getting? So, the 
these are called as an underground stain. These are called as an underground stain. So we have learned about root, how we can grow the with the help of the root and how we can grow with the help of the stain. How we can grow the plant with the help of the root and how we can grow the plant with the help of the stain. Are you getting this? I hope you have understood this. That there are some plants which do not have the actually stain. They, they grow with the help of the leaf. For example, bryophyllum and begoni. These are the two leaves which with the help of that we can grow a new plant. With the help of that we can grow a new plant. See if you will take a bryophyllum leaf, you will see the bryophyllum leaf. The edges of the leaf you can get, uh, that edges of the um, leaf or you can say the margin of the leaves. With, that, with the help of that uh, the bones can grow. The bird can grow and as the bones can grow, we can develop a new plant. We can develop the new plant. Repeating, so these are the two plants, Bryophylla and Begoni. This, with that, the reproduction takes place with the help of the leaves. With the help of the leaves. Then the next, there are some plants which do not produce a flower and also they do not produce a seed. For example, if you will take fern and mosses, they do not have the flowers and also the seeds. So they have a tiny spores. They have a tiny spores. So each spores can grow into a new plant. Each spores can grow into a new plant. Are you getting this? In ferns, they are in fern plant spores are present. In a spatial structure, they are called as a soaring. What it is called? Soaring. So, with that help of that, we can grow a new plant. So, in this video, what we have learned? Along with the seeds, we can grow a plant with the help of the vegetative part. For example, root, stain, leaf and spores. There are some plants which grow with the help of the root, for example, carrot, radish, beetroot. Are you getting this? Then there are the plants which we grow with the help of the stain, for example, rose, hibiscus, cotton, money plant. Am I right? And there are some plants which are remaining under the ground. They are not actually the root, they are the Stain, they are the stain. For example, onion, potato. Are you getting this? So, they, with the help of that stain, we can grow into a, with the with the help of the stain, we can grow into a new plant. Then, with the help of the leaves, some plants grow with the help of the leaves. For example, bryophyllum. Yes. Then, some plants do not have the seeds. So they grow with the spores. So these are the these are well, these are the vegetative part through which we can grow a new plant. Okay. So today's work is that you have to remove the difficult words and you have to write them in your notebook. So in that there are some MCQs in your in, in your test book. Page number 80. We will just discuss there. We can grow a new plant from the of a carrot is an example of root. Carrot is an example of root. Which of the following plants grow from a stain cutting? That is, yes, of course, the rose. Are you getting that? So, tick to the rose. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the agriculture. Okay, thank you.